This morning, the women's basketball team, by the way, Jerika mentioned, is out of danger. Their bus left for home at 10 p.m. Monday after playing a game in Pittsburgh. They got caught in the storm on Interstate 90 in Lackawanna. The bus was stuck for 26 hours mm -hmm. from 2 a.m. Tuesday until just after 4 o'clock this morning. We talked to Niagara's coach before they got out. You know, it's been over 24 hours that we're on the bus. Uh, we had just had the conversation with the team, like, hey, we're going to ration our water. We're going to, you know, ration our food. Uh, we just filled our water bottles up, you know, our Gatorade water bottles that we use during games uh, up with snow so that, you know, that could melt. We could have water in the morning. That there are people that are in, you know, cars running out of gas and have no heat. And we have heat and we're together and we have what we need to survive right now. You know, we're consistently telling our players to, you know, text or call your parents, let them know what's going on, let them know we're safe. Both my, my boys are on the bus with one and a half and a three-year-old. You know, I think they're a little stir crazy, but when they get hungry and cranky, mm, it won't be so much fun. The longer it goes, the harder it gets. But, um, you know, like I said, our, our team does a great job of perspective. You know, we know there are people that need uh, first responders even more than we do. We are a team. We're together a lot. Um, you know, we're we know how to handle adversity, and and I think our group has done a great job. Wow. Just wild, right? Yeah, oh my God. Yeah. We're happy to report police reached the team early this morning. They put them in patrol cars. They were able to drive away safely. They boarded another bus, and now they're on their way back home. Yeah, oh. she painted quite a picture, wow. didn't she? Yeah, yeah. glad they're okay. Not the team building exercise they had <laughs> in mind. That's right. <laughs>